huge news. Uh, R. Kelly has uh, been sentenced to 30 years in prison for racketeering, sex trafficking, and for using his uh, uh, his, his stardom, uh, super stardom, to subject to uh, young fans, including children, to systematic sexual abuse. Uh, is anyone shocked? And do you think about the number of years? What do you think about the number of years he got? Uh, let's start with you, Al. You know, I... <sighs> R. Kelly deserves to be put underneath the jail for what he did to those 11 women that uh, testified or that have come forward. Um, but Claudia, I, this is just not rubbing me right on the number of years. And, I, and I, it, I'm not saying that he shouldn't have those number of years, but I'm saying this, as you know, and we're going to cover um, Jeffrey Epstein's uh, partner in crime, and what they committed, sex trafficking, conspiracy to transport minors, uh, over hundreds and hundreds of girls. She got 20 years. Jeffrey Epstein didn't even get that many years, got a you know a work release program because he was able to buy his way out. So I think it's, just, it's the indiscrepancy for me that doesn't settle well. Why does R. Kelly get 30 years, but Jeffrey Epstein, who assaulted 10 times more young girls between the ages of 13 and 14. One of his witnesses said that he, that herself alone brought 80 13 year olds to the house for him to play with, you know, don't get the same time. It's just confusing. Both of them belong underneath the jail, in my opinion. Cause he's black. Q, what do you think? You know, I got so many mixed emotions about this. Um, so many compartmentalized emotions. Um, there's a part of me that weeps for the abused child that was once R. Kelly. I weep for him. Um, but then the adult Robert Kelly, the musical genius that we know, had a 25-year reign of terror. So it would seem to me 25 years of doing this, 30 years, seems fitting for the crime. I was looking at a lot of social media comments or whatever, and I want to make a small comment to Al's point. <clears throat> yes, we get unfair sentences or get bigger sentences, but I honestly don't give a damn when we get the appropriate sentence and somebody gets a lesser one when you did it. And he did it to black girls. So yeah, Jesleen might got something less because she's white and, and Epstein might have bought his way out. But to be honest, I really don't care. He gets what he deserves. You had a 25-year reign of terror. Your ass get 30 years in prison. He'll be 80. He's probably going to die in prison if he doesn't get out early because that'll put him at 85. He's 55 now. I, I agree with you, Q. And I'm going to say this. Um, usually when the victims are Black, um, you know, the, the sentence isn't as severe. And when the defendant is black, we always have a but, 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 but thing that we do. And that's just normal because we're just so used to the discrepancies in the legal system. I get that. But if you're one of those victims of, of R. Kelly, it's a miracle, actually, that he got this much time being such a huge superstar and that the victims are black girls. Usually we don't really get this kind of justice. So, yeah, it does still suck. And we know that it's kind of part of the game that the white folks ain't going to get the same uh, punishment as us. But I do care that these young black girls did get some justice. And some of the gross details that came out about forcing them to eat certain things, species, all kind of stuff. I'm just like, we loved you. You have it. I, I think it's a bigger offense when you had it all. And I'm just like, and you're so you're so influential. Dude, you are talented. You are blessed by God with your talent. And this is the way you chose to use your influence. So spend your time in jail, R. Kelly. And I don't feel bad for you at all. But here's what I need next, Claudia. I need all of his enablers to be tried and I need the parents to be tried for neglect as well because he was he didn't act alone in this. No, he didn't. And speaking of not acting alone, Ghislaine Maxwell, the socialite who once consorted with royals, presidents, and billionaires, was sentenced to 20 years in prison for helping the late Jeffrey Epstein sexually abuse underage girls. Let's go to you, Q. What do you think? What are your thoughts on her sentencing? Um... <sighs> You know, she was the middleman. You know what I'm saying? And now, here's what's sick about it. She was a woman. You know what I'm saying? A, a wealthy, rich woman, socialite. I'm just curious to know what in the hell type of mental illness did you have 
um, or what kind of hold did Jeffrey Epstein have over you to get you to do this? And she's another one at her age. She about going to die in prison, too. I think she got her just due. I think, Al, to your earlier sentiment, perhaps she got less years because she wasn't the one screwing the girls and making them eat boo-boo. She was just helping to recruit the girls. She was one of the handlers, one of the enablers. So what I'm hoping is that R. Kelly's enablers will get this same 20-year sentence that Ghislaine did. Al, what do you think? I think 20 years is not enough. And that was my original argument for me. She needs to spend the rest of her life in prison at minimum 30 years, the same as R. Kelly. Not only did she assist and facilitate Q, she did participate in a number of those sex trysts. In fact, she in t she participated with the same number, if not more, that R. Kelly did by himself in his situation. Now, Jeffrey Epstein, however, participated in a lot more without her help, but we do know that she did participate in another one. And it, in, in their case, the thing that upset me the most is that this was the largest sex trafficking of minors in the United States of America. And these two got a slap on their hands and given these, these very lenient um, sentences. And, that, and that's what my problem is. Like I said before, R. Kelly definitely should be put underneath the jail for the what he did, but so should Jeffrey Epstein, who we know is no longer with us, but so should Miss Maxwell. I'm sorry, it should not matter. In their case, it was hundreds, hundreds, multiple states, uh florida new york new mexico london private island he's a fly around that was true sex trafficking 20 years is not enough for me for her well there's an argument to be made and the people in the chat are saying well she didn't do the well she did do some of it i will say this i believe it's because she gave some names so she did drop a little so I, there was some color you know some helping out so i think that may be valuable i think some more people will be coming you know will be getting sentenced or at least be held get, get on trial and we do need that because this network is so, so tightly knit. I remember I have a friend that she was actually brought to uh, the Bahamas one time because a, a female video vixen uh, asked her to come on a trip and said it was all good and everything was taken care of. And it was for this guy named Peter. And all the women were expected to have sex. They took their passports. And, and my friend had no idea that she was being brought in. And I know the girl that brought her in. I'm like, shame on you. You, you lured these girls on the false pretenses, left them there to be raped. And, and, and be threatened with, you're not getting back home to your country unless you give it up. There's a lot of this stuff going on, y'all. Like a lot. Like some of my friends in Hollywood that have done, that were music video vixens need to write some books because Jeffrey Epstein is not the only one. There's a whole bunch of them. I gave y'all a big clue with the first name. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and look that up. I ain't going to get in trouble because this is Fox. So we don't want to, we want to stay on the air. All right. Well, I just want to say one last thing about Jiswell Maxwell. In, in her 20 years, y'all don't get too mad about the number because chances are she probably gonna die in there anyway. You know what I'm saying? At her age, she probably gonna die. And then when, if and when she does get out and she's still alive, she ain't gonna have no quality of life anyway. So don't, don't get too upset about it. And the fact that we all know that when Jeffrey Epstein died, wink, wink. <laughs> Either someone wanted him dead or he took himself out, right? Because of the huge names that are in this web of lies and in this child molestation ring. I can only imagine what politicians and presidents and princes and CEOs uh, I'm, I'm hoping she gave up some good names. The other thing, Claudia, that I don't like is poor Andrew Gilliam in the same state that uh, Epstein and Miss Maxwell are being charged for their uh, stuff. Um, he's looking up to 45 years for 21 counts of wire fraud. Right. So he's going to get 45 years of wire for wire fraud, maximum 45 years for wire fraud. But these two can have a whole decade and a half of sex trafficking of 13 year old girls. And they only, and she only gets 20. I'm sorry. I just can't get off of that. America now. has shown itself to be pro rape and pro molest. They don't, that they're not that offended over some of oh. I'm gonna be, I'm, the worst thing you can do in America. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think Jis Lane gave up as many of the names as we think she did. Because mm -hmm. I think if Jis Lane would have gave up the right names that would have like really brought down institutions, mama would have got five years in probation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe there's still some time. Renegotiate the deal, Miss Maxwell. Our